I want more than anything right now, seeing that Wyvern. I want Rooney ears to play OD. Because last time they played with Pudge, it was when OD was super meta. Mm. So they were playing, their offlaner at the time was Lice. And he was just playing OD, and Arrow was just oh. playing Pudge. And they just like played it three games in a row, like dumpstered the safe lane. <laughs> some astral hook combo. Yeah, yeah, literally just astral hooking. <laughs> oh my, like what a great OD yeah, game. Am I right? Am I right? Are you right? You I'm have to right. explain to me why you're so right. I'm so right, because OD just bonks on these heroes he does so much damage <laughs> with his uh whatever his q's called oh god i, don't, I haven't seen this hero in months i've forgotten what he does arcane orb <laughs> arcane orb would ob o <laughs> would od <laughs> your orb stuck in my brain would od be a good gotcha pick for the very last pick for rooney this because they have overall last pick or would you like to see it picked up here in case it potentially gets banned if they're running it as an off lane i mean you see your safe lane so you should pick your off lane here unless razor is what they're putting in the off lane mm -hmm. Obviously, they Probably see Sven, budge. so it could be good, right? right? I mean, I don't know. I assume that Io, Pudge, it's either carry, this racer can go there too. Yeah, yeah I'd like to see like a Tusk or something here. Oh, I think Tusk for would be fun. Yeah, I'd be down. Yeah, it's just something to help this racer, some BKB stun for the Sven. AA really hates playing versus Tusk. He's just <laughs> a little creep. That's true, you just punch him. Yeah. I want to talk about the spend a little bit more. Uh, something we haven't seen this patch yet, personally, on this broadcast. Mm -hmm. Often regarded by many players as a trash hero. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why so? I mean, I don't agree with that sentiment. Oh, really? I'm very fond of my spin. Mm -hmm. But the hero most people don't like about it is you just get kited pretty easily. You get a lot of farm. I personally think it's underrated. I'm glad Team Spirit agree here too. But are they playing it as a carry? That's the question. Cause I hope not, because I do yeah. want some inspiration to play that hero in the off lane. <laughs> 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 I wanna, because I know when they change, they like change the shot a little bit. Um, I mean, I have seven armor now in the aura. Yeah, so I I was thinking he would become an off laner, and then Wraith Pact was obviously really strong. And I thought, oh, why why aren't people just picking like Sven with a blink and a Wraith Pact and stuff, and just giving armor? But no one really ever played with it, so I'm assuming it's just terrible. Well, um, the problem is this Wraith Pact costs the same amount as a BKB. Yeah, and he's an, if he was an off laner, he's. <laughs> So All why would you buy Wraith buying... Pact over BKB? It's really like well, the why argument. Why was anyone buying a Wraith? I mean, now because you only have summon now. units like Visage yeah. and Beastmaster, that helps more than just your hero. Mm. You know, but when you're playing these single, I've already done all the theory craft on this. You oh, know, geez. Wraith Pact is like a great item, but like BKB is just better if you don't have summon units in I most see. games. Well, I would definitely agree with that now that Wraith Pact has been nerfed. Also, just quickly, they picked Enigma. I think that's really cool, too. Obviously, you got, like, the pure damage, the percentage damage, whatever. It's just a lot of damage. into Wyvern, so the Black Hole's going to be inconsistent. Cancel. Yeah, that's true. But what if he just simply catches the Wyvern? And if you lane it versus the Sven, he's just going <laughs> to cleave all the cleave ranges further than the attack range of the Eidolons. You can just so play with his stun pulse. Just don't skill it. Yeah, yeah, just get just don't skill the, Listen Eidolons. to this advice here. Just don't skill Eidolons. And if you just die, this, this play sounds with them like, three This spells. sounds like yeah. some Herald shit you where die, you just buy back instantly. <laughs> buy stun and midnight pulse enigma. Show him to the lane. That's it. That's all you're going to do. That's going to help. He's, yeah, he's laughing them. too. He's, he thinks that was a great joke. <laughs> like, good, good work, Jay. That's hilarious. You don't fear. I don't like you very much. <laughs> Damn, I'm going to have to make you guys sit on separate couches <laughs> soon. He's hating on the Rooney ears, the Enigma pig, bro. They got big ideas. He's trying. This is what I was about to say, but you cut me off. I was going to say they're trying to bait them into picking Rubik, and mm -hmm, then they're just going to mm -hmm. respond with their ultimate last pick. Which is? Um, the ultimate. They have 30 the oh, sorry, last less than pick. a minute, 45 seconds. Techies. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what you were going to go with this. Was she going to try and go for the off lane faceless void again? Or was she going to say techie? Oh, hell yeah. I mean, okay. so It's going to be sniper carry. <laughs> if there is a way to get this Enigma into a support role, I hope they do it. Well, we oh, have God, to... I don't want to see it play core into these heroes. Real question, who's their mid? Is it mid Wyvern or mid Rubik? I'm uh... guessing Rubik, right? I could see Team Spirit being Toronto, a Tokyo player. seems more like I just see his face on one of these heroes. I see it more on the. Oh, Rubik. that's so boring. Aww. Jesus Christ. We're sorry to disappoint. Okay. Uh, while we see these that's guys sorting says. out their lanes, we're going to bring in Ares and Lizard. We're going to start with Lizard first to give us uh, all the insight. How do you think the lane matchups are going to go for these drafts? 
Yeah, I was. I have no idea. I was looking <laughs> at this draft and I'm just wondering. Enigma into Wyvern, Sven into Razor. A lot of weird stuff happening overall, but there is one hero that I want to really praise. That's Pudge. Same like Bristleback in the last game. I think that Pudge is extremely strong. However, it should be a support, I believe. This yeah, time. It, it is. Support. It is yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, sheep called it there. I don't like there. it that much. You don't like <laughs> it that much sport. now. But yeah, sheep called it there. It is yeah. an arrow here. Arrow is going to be on that pudge there. But Aries, do you have anything you want to add? Uh, maybe the Toronto Tokyo Toronto Tokyo Winter Wyvern. That's a mouthful. Yeah, I, I think the Wyverns. It's a hero that we see, of course, played as a two a little bit in Southeast Asia. Of course, we saw it in Western Europe as well. I think it's going to be a really good game, though. They do have some issues with being able to get on top of the Wyvern. I think you needed the the Void Spirit to be able to to jump him. But I, I think Toronto Tokyo is going to thrive on this Wyvern. All right. On the couch here, which side do you want to sway? Very quickly. Arrow right. Pudge, baby. Okay, it's still another Rune Eaters fan. I wasn't sure about the game on draft for Team Spirit, but completely outpicked here. I think Rune Eaters are just going to get demolished all right well they're looking to be split again on the couch but we'll see how this game at two unravels with aries and lizard thank you very much nat well that's not that's not good hope fizz just uh fear is shutting down rune eaters i i want a game three i don't care what we get i want to go into the early morning i want a game three do you feel like that is going to be the case though lizard no ah oh, what the hell where's come on my I'm old man fear is old man fear right um, I'm I'm approaching his age as well. I think, not that old, bunch of kind boomers. Of close. Let me, yeah, a bunch of boomers. Fear Dota Two Liquipedia. Let me check. Uh, yeah, close enough. We're close. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no time to have fun. No time for these Pudge position fours. But yeah, I, I don't really like Pudge Four. There are some players in Europe that still can pull it off, but. Uh, I feel that the hero, if it's picked, it should be played as a core. As on that core, a flesh heap really comes to shine. To but uh, yeah, they decide to put him on that four instead. I do want to say I very much agree with Fear and everything he said about this draft. I'm quite concerned on how Rune Eaters are yeah, just able to take. Uh, the, the lineup, it just seems like it's a lot of there's no synergy kind of between them. That they don't have this crazy IO pairing. You like you said, we're seeing. The Pudge played as a support. I think there's a lot of really difficult matchups. How are you ever going to get a good black hole off? You're mm -hmm. up against into one big counter in the, the Winter Wyvern. And I think this is also uh, being a position two Wyvern means that Toronto Tokyo is going to have the Deceptor to play with. So his positioning is going to be that much easier to find the curse. And we've kind of seen yeah, maybe this is a route where he's forced to go down like a, a Wraith Pact just for, for Enigma. So he's not really relying on the on the black hole and can have some involvement mm -hmm. in, in another way. Yeah, looking at his items, he's buying an urn into Blink BKB. Not sure, we'll see. Maybe some good old black hole into Pudge hooking you out so they can't do anything about it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a hard game. I don't think we should expect any big black holes. Um, not on, Like you said, not only the Rubik, you have the Wyvern. Just very difficult. The lane as well shouldn't be that easy. You're playing into a Sven. Um, yeah, for me, it, it, it's looking rough. Very, very rough. I... I really feel like if Rune Eaters have any chance of taking this, I think it's off the back of Haze. Uh, they have a little bit of issues with control early on for Spur and, and how they're able to deal with the Void. I think if he can try and find a couple of the early power runes, make those rotations, help secure the early game. Because I think for Rune is they just need to completely run over the, the lads on Spirit. Try and occupy the jungle. Wyvern needs a little bit of time to come online. Do you want mm. a Sven who's farming the stack? So Haze needs to be that tempo controller in a game like this. Mm. So you have no faith in the Razor? I think it has a very good matchup versus Sven. Um, mm -hmm. But I feel like it's going to be difficult I think the curse does way too much this game. You, you don't have to now rely on curse just to deal with black hole. You have the Rubik for that, and you can just use the you can use the curse to pop the BKB. Or sorry, I should say stop the BKB on the razor, and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden his involvement in fights is just you know, completely uh, wasted there. So yeah. no, I don't have as much faith in it. Yeah, me neither. I'm just messing with you. I guess. Uh, like, <laughs> I <can't laughs> <jam. laughs> <laughs> it can work a little bit if they do manage to stomp the lanes, 
And then you have this Razor that's a semi-core plus, like you mentioned, Void Spirit making moves across the map. It, plus you have this Pudge. But, uh, oh, that's a nice hook. Ooh, arrow! Will this be a All kill? Right. There will be one last Melfus tick and Cloud with the right click regardless as Rooney does find our first blood in game two. And that's pretty much how you need it to start. Just win these lanes. She, she believes, she believes we we're all plebs. We don't know what arrow pudge is possible. What he's possible <laughs> at doing. What, you reckon he's just gonna 100% hook rate? She's not gonna miss a, a single hook and just absolutely pop off? He might uh, feed. Yeah, what's going on right now? They are a little bit away from the lane. I'm not gonna get the combination coming through from the cold feet, so... They're Easy trying bounty. to protect their sentry. Looks like they're able to do so. Uh, yeah, you're playing into an enigma. If you manage to stack and uh, pull the small camp, you pretty much bring the lane back into your favor. It's the only way to do top so. Lane top collapse. Lane. Oh, oh, look at that combo! Starbreaker onto both with Mira stepping into the lane. They can get rid of the eye. Collapse doesn't have... They might have enough mana actually shortly. Yeah, they're going to get the mango over to him as well. Sick charge for the second use of the spell, TA2000, trying to drain some damage, but Mira already having level 2 on the Fade Bolt will cut away the life of the Razor. Hey. Any more? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The is going to go down as well. They get him. Uh, it was so unlucky for the Razor because he got his items delivered, right? But it, like always, boots go into the backpack, everything else gets into your inventory. Because of the boots being in the backpack, he didn't have enough movement speed to actually move away and perhaps survive. How... is there a lineup that you feel will be... have an easy time with trying to secure some of the power roots? Mm. Well, it should be easier, obviously, for uh, rune eaters, right? When it comes to the power runes, you move in with the Pudge and, and a Void Spirit, you can't even approach that as a Wyvern. So, once you get those power runes, at le uh, I believe they're more important for for Haze as well, right? Toro... Oh! oh! He hit the hook, but... Mm -hmm. I think still 100% still... <laughs> hit rate. <laughs> you gotta think of the positives, right? <laughs> Are you half glass full or half glass empty? Um, half or full. something else? Half full. Okay. Half full. <laughs> With what though? Or anything, just in life. Are you an mm. optimistic guy? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's uh, that's what the pudge is, you know? I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, don't worry, I, I hit the hook, we're chilling. You have to Continue be optimistic if you want to play pudge. Like, <laughs> I think I've heard a lot of people say that it's kind of just a confidence hero. You just need to... A it's... Dota in general is a, is a confidence game, as we do see Arrow charging down the Poskar. Boots in the wind lace, gonna make it very difficult for the Ancient Apparition to play with his positioning, so... Already Cloud up to a killing spree! And having a really good time down bottom here as Rune Eaters. No, they're doing way more than I thought they would with the Pudge and Enigma. They're really pressuring this lane. Mm, the oh, Rivots are on to Tokyo. A curse taunting up two is gonna have the four damage as well from the splinter blast, but as soon as that expires, Hayes, I try and sneak on forward towards the Roche Pit. We'll duck on out now. Meanwhile, Kauri and Arrow is also connecting as well, so hey, we gotta listen to Sheep a little bit more. This this punch doing a lot to start this game. Meanwhile, bottom lane, your taunt is gonna go Mira. down. Back inside the river, Arrow finds another hook, dragging back Mira. Should have the movement speed to catch up and Hang on a second. We were just dead TA. TA 2000. Also falling low, but what's going on? Spirit, they're bleeding, kills left, right, and center. Arrow from bot to mid to top, he goes. He's still. Okay, alive. okay. You, he had a little bit too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> he feeds in the end, but uh, yeah, this man is on fire. So far, Arrow has done a ton. Um, and one thing that I uh, uh, did see is that Enigma didn't manage to completely shut down Sven with the denies, right? So he's still farming quite a bit, which is all right, even with all the kills. That's something positive, I mean, for uh, Team Spirit. I would... A plane collapse. 
Zeus. Gonna be in a lot of trouble mm -hmm. until Mira steps in with the telekinesis. Nicely done. Yeah. They have black hole, so I'm expecting this Pudge to start rotating bottom once again. And perhaps they can uh, even get the kill on this man. See, really, they do have a sword. Very important place to be able to drop this sword, especially when you're against the Pudge, always wanting to scout out. I'm trying to hook from the tree line. One arrow, all eyes on you. Can't be missing hooks, brother. I'm keeping tabs here. I'm making sure we, we got the hook counter. That can be your job, actually. I, I need to do that. You, no, you no, no, you not. do that. You do that. Uh, for me, it's 100% no matter what. He's got it. <laughs> oh, dude, I gotta do everything here. Jesus okay. Christ. If you're Hook younger, counter. that's that's the way it is. <laughs> it doesn't matter. What? <laughs> Deny the rune? Uh, oh, oh well, that's uh, big. Get the power in for Haze. They do have, of course, the ward to be able to set up. Ray didn't have their own, but nice read from Arrow. Should be able to take that out of the equation now. Yeah, the moment you see that Wyvern trying to deny Bottom lane, across cloud. the river. They're going to try and blow up the Enigma with the help of Collapse. A big killing spree for them to find. Utori wanted a high oh. five. Someone give him a high five. No one wants a high five. Mm, they saw Utori TP top. It's that casual progression, right, from the carry. Move top, then into the triangle, especially when you're a Sven. Um, he doesn't have God's Strength, though, as he used at bottom, so it will be a bit more difficult for him to take the stacks that Mira is making. Oh, look at them. It's a lot. Juicy. It's not going to get the Ancients, unfortunately. Already a goddamn big stack there. Rune Eaters do have a pretty decent lineup to be able to invade. Looking for probably their next smoke. Mm -hmm. I, I th you might even... It's going to be a bit difficult without taking towers, because as soon as someone's not showing bottom, then it might be obvious. So all eyes on, on Rune Eaters and how they can be bottom lane. Yep, look at that. Toronto, Tokyo. No hesitation. We're dropping the curse. Top lane as well, Yatoru. He gets hooked. Looking to go for the Razor under the tower. T2000 protected thanks to Kauris. Should be okay. Meanwhile, bottom low. We still got the Wyvern going down. The Toronto Tokyo gets a kill, but it comes at a cost. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Collapse is still trying to fight him, but uh, let's see, can he? We'll see, he's got a TP coming through. Mirror from afar with a Vade Ball, and he will tick out to the damage of a time. So, both the offlaners are having a pretty good game here. Collapse 4 0 and 2. When Cloud has had a couple of deaths over the past minutes, but this Enigma is top of the net worth. Yeah, he's still doing extremely well on the Enigma. Off of all those Pudge uh, assists early on in the game. Uh, he needs to be careful when it comes to the Wyvern, though. Uh, when he's pushing, if there's Winter's Curse, those Eidolons will shred him apart. As you, they get bonus attack speed right, and instantly the Enigma just kills himself. Pushka. Oh, might be in a little bit of trouble. Just gonna try and go for the straight TP. Ah, oh, they got the damage. They do not. And meanwhile, they're not invading. They're gonna smoke now, but Yatoru's already taken one stack and he's gonna try and get the Ancients as well. Mm. They do have Relocate though. So this smoke, if Team Spirit do decide to defend, uh, can bring them a lot of kills. But I don't think they will. It's just Mira mm, spamming bottom lane, right? That's it. Oh, they're going to run into Collapse. Combos the Mark sets up for a beautiful hook once again. And there's the Relocate like you were mentioning. It is a streak. You're also going to be able to move this down into a T1 tower bottom. But uh, are you happy with that? Because again, uh, Yutora did get the stack. And I really think that's a gigantic objective uh, at this stage of the game. You do want it. It's gigantic. But you will get it as well. You don't have to... I don't think they, they worry about that way too much. Okay. It's 11 minutes in, you won't be able to defend, especially, especially on one side you have a Pudge that's able to, to catch you, on the other side the Dawn Breaker, so uh, these tier 1 towers I believe on both sides will fall shortly. Top tower is under attack. Uh, what do you think about the travels on uh, the Wyvern? Is the standard built? He's already got him? Yeah, that's actually what I was going to try and bring up before that fight. I, I'm seeing... Really, the only Wyvern I'm seeing at the moment is Moon in an SMG, and he likes mm -hmm. this Witchblade first. Witchblade bots into Scepter. Um, 
maybe he feels like it's his role to try and early on deal with the side lanes and the Enigma push and also having the plus one because Dyer have this relocate. So maybe he feels the importance of just going for an early boot to travel to maybe be able to offset that early advantage of the relocate. Yeah, and you have two heroes to set up with, right? Like you have travels, you also have a Dawnbreaker with the ulti. Plus AA ulti, there's a lot of global potential on, on both sides. Um, I like the travels. Travels are not only for that. On Wyvern, they're a must. It's like your if you're a core Wyvern, it's it's like the item to go for because one of the reasons why this hero even works as a core is his insane movement speed. Yeah, you just fly around the map and insane flying speed, I should say, with the agonims. Yeah, I, I think the main thing for me is just when he picks it up uh, again because because mm. moon he likes is the witch first, first is it sec yeah yes. is it, yeah yeah some some players even went to travels into agonims not witch blade right and then afterwards they can get the witch blade but uh toronto tokyo uh, deciding to go for for witch blade instantly after the travels i think that's always been the beautiful thing about dota where Every game is going to be different, you know, in regards to what abilities you go for, your your item build, anything, and, and even, I think, regions as well. Of course, that's why we love when everyone comes together and we get to see the battle of ideas, but just in particular where, you know, I, I think a big thing to mention, I'll go with this example, you know, Gunner with the, the Lone Druid really likes the Wraith Bands. Uh, there's a couple of other people that just don't like that build, and we just kind of see the... Your ebb and flow of everyone's thought process on how heroes are supposed to work. Mm. Sometimes oh. different heroes, sometimes the same ones, but played in a completely different position. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. I did see a missed hook. It was for a power rune, though. No, 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 mm. you didn't see anything. It's... <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, my bad. Still 100%. <laughs> Uh, what are we what are we looking for we've we're still what we've got 15 kills 14 minutes in so we've had a decent amount of action so far but and again it is another kind of stalemate for the past couple of minutes or so what is the kind of next big thing i suppose we're looking for for, for either side to break this game open like usually i would say that it's this big bkb on enigma right but in this, in this kind of a game he's going for it and i don't know just how much it will be able to do like you'll you'll Okay, you'll get the BKB, but you're playing into a Rubik, into a Wyvern. Uh, and it looks like they are waiting for it even, so... Uh, I would feel bad if... if It surprises them that... <laughs> yeah, it, it won't do a lot. But uh, one thing that certainly will do a lot is a BKB on Razor. Once you have that, you're ready to fight pretty much. What Cloud. Play? Yeah. Very far pushed up forward. Just to Tokyo with the easy kill. Mira's going to be able to get the Eidolons as well, so they might... I don't think they're going to be able to get any damage into some objectives, but we just see how much farm they're getting across the map. I mean, Yatoru is untouched for the moment. He's actually going for an early blink as well on, on the Sven, so they feel like maybe they have difficulties with starting oh, fights for Blaine. Relocate, but look at Spirit. They're ready for this instant with a TP in from Toronto, Tokyo, along with the Solar Guardian. They're zapping away the damage here, 2000 protected with the BKB for the moment. As soon as the Cold Embrace expires, Yutoro is going to be in trouble. He's able to duke to the west, but TA2000 can't close the distance as Spirit beautiful read of that attempt. They are instantly there to protect Yutoro. Incredibly well done. Uh, defending him, also managing to kill off the Razor with that A ulti coming in clutch at the end. Really nicely played. Arrow dies too. And they get a T2 top with the catapult, so a lot of map control now. It was a nice attempt, right? Like, your Enigma died bottom, let's go instantly on the Sven that's showing on the top lane. But it almost felt like a bait, which it might have even been. Uh, as Winter Wyvern with those travels. He can be bottom, yeah, but uh, he can join any single fight across the map easily. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. I think Radiant we're kind of already seeing the concerns of Razor through these fights, how easy it is to be able to kite him through that BKB. Not only the curse, but also the corner brace as well. Uh, hookshot? Ooh. Hookshot, not hookshot. Meat hook. Stolen by Rubik. Hi, Miro. Let's see. Let's see what you got for us. Come on, land the first hook. Just go for it. Chuck it out. Yeah, it's so crazy. much easier on Rubik, right? You don't have that uh, animation. Just instantly Radiant throw it out. What is that range as well with Aetherlands? Dude, this hook is nuts. 
It's across the screen. Nice reactions, Jitoro. Links away. 4,000 net worth lead there for Team Spirit. So we're just, you know, I mentioned the, the question before, how do we break this game open? And really that last skirmish from Spirit has really given them a little bit of breathing room here. They're still working towards the next set of Good items. Mid. It's yeah, mid lane, there we go. Into the instant attempt to tie and blow up Haze with the Ice Blast. They're gonna try and juke to the right. Nice hook from Arrow, but he will still go down. It looks like Mira was able to find yeah. A little bit of tick. I think the Astral Step did hit. It did, it did. I believe it did. Yeah, he, he stole the Astral Step after. Uh, it, it's kind of sad that you're giving up Hook, but at the same time, you're spoiled with choices this game. It's such yeah. an amazing Ruby game. Uh, the Black Hole, the Hook, stealing ulti from Void Spirit is not really that difficult. So. Yeah, just a nice game for him. But to lane, look at this. Radiance bottom tower. Oh, oh no. Now they'll even get the Soli Guard in as well for good measure, just to make sure they secure with a kill, but hang on, they've TP'd down bottom two on Totokyo, should be able to make it on the high gun and instantly Team Spirit bringing the reinforcements as they get rid of the Razor. Kauri soon to be not long for oh, this world. But he does actually make it out with a return, so regardless though, two heroes going down, it's your offlane and your carry. I. I really don't think this game's going to get any easier for Rune Eaters. I feel it like won't. they had to snowball this. Yeah, it, it definitely won't. If uh, Sven wants to, he could complete the BKB straight away, but he can also wait for it. Uh, the relocate, uh, it's, it's a decent idea, but I think they need more heroes there. Th they need at least the Pudge to perhaps save the Enigma a little bit, and then you relocate in, you bring the numbers. But if your Enigma already died, you're just relocating in Io Razor. Even if you, even if it's the only, even if it's Vyvern alone there, you're not killing him, right? He's next to the tier two. He he should have called Embrace, and that's enough time for anyone to respond to that aggression. Um, but yeah, nice idea. Just perhaps needed more heroes. Dyer are scanning. See what Rune Eaters can do. Gonna smoke up. They do have the ward scouting out carrying tier two thousand positioning. They might have smoked under the ward as well. Eh? Wasn't able to scout up their initial place. What do we got on Cloud? Still without the BKB, so... Have we seen a black hole yet? I don't think we have. We haven't, no. <laughs> Maybe there was one at the beginning, like a solo kill or something, but uh, not the one in a team fight. Yeah, it might be a game where we don't see uh, a black hole. Sometimes it's just the... It's so difficult. You never want to waste a black hole, even give it away into the Rubik, and all of a sudden Mira has a better one. When I mean, he's got Blink Aethlin, so well and truly might be able to find a, a big steal. It's just the threat of this. It can make it very taxing on the on the mind of when you can find that perfect opportunity. And we do Pushka? get... Yeah, what's going on here? It's very close, but... Uh... <laughs> We've got the Ages, though, on to Yator. They're going to look to try and smoke down bottom, Yator. <laughs> yeah. You see Dude, this? he always does this, man. Yeah. He's brought... He knows. <sighs> he knows. <laughs> oh, this guy is wild. Haze? It's not going to avoid Spirit at the moment. They don't have the Scepter onto Toronto, Tokyo. Got the high ground advantage, though. Maposhka leading forward. Smoke still hasn't popped just yet. Toronto, Tokyo. Oh, run straight to the void. Spins able to set up for the double. Ice was what could be better? Toronto, Tokyo flies into the middle and instantly they show with multiple heroes on Team Spirit to bring it down two. And now they can connect this into the tier one tower. And he knew, right? Like, uh, they all knew. Sven, that's why he was waving. But then if you're Rune Eaters, you're thinking, okay, are these some mind games? Does he truly know? Is he bluffing? Does he have teammates around him? It gets into your head, man. It's a mind game. Mm. Is that why we have a team called Mind Games in Eastern Europe? Is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 That's it. <laughs> exactly why. Let's go. <laughs> We've cracked the code. <laughs> we are too smart. Oh, it's it's looking tricky for Rune Eaters. Oh, there's... Oh, Haze? Haze? Hang on, Haze? Haze? 
Okay. Let's go one more ultimate charge. Arrow is on point, but Mira as well. But the stolen Astro Step does get the tick damage. Titoro double star instantly. Nice but they do have the black hole finally. There's gonna be no counter. They stole it on Mira. The black hole only onto one. They haven't even killed off your yet. Protected with the BKB has the second life to work with. Even gonna tip over Cloud. What is this? Oh, the buybacks. Yatoro wants some high fives. Finally are able to get the kill, but the only way they can turn this into a successful team fight is maybe off the back of the buybacks, but that will not even be an opportunity. They're zapping away the damage of Yatoro, but Toronto Tokyo steps in, lands the curse, and this one is over. 22 minutes as the reigning champions beat down onto Rune Eaters. Yeah, this one... Oh, there was a small... Small glimmer of hope when the punch went ham, he starts to dominating bottom lane. Uh, then he goes mid, gets a kill, goes top, feeds to collapse, doesn't matter, continues uh, continues making good moves, good hooks. 100% hook rate, no one can tell me anything <laughs> different. We don't, we don't have, uh, we don't have what's it called, like, uh, hook accuracy anymore. In Dota 1, you could just write in HA, and then you actually know how many hooks connected. No longer oh. the case. At least in, in the hearts of Arrow, he was uh, 100%. Like you said, there, there was some, again, signs of life in the early game, but it just felt like this, the first phase of that draft really put them in a, in a tricky position where you go Iro Pudge, but instantly the, the Ancient Apparition as a counter destroys the Iro and also makes this Pudge 1 not as viable. So they have to go for plan B, maybe even plan C. And we just saw from there that one pick, it's a very unconventional hero. We don't get it often, but really just it's the experience as well like they know these matchups they can pull it out they're comfortable even playing it but the heroes aren't strong and we just saw it really did feel like a lot of dota does still come down to execution but it did feel like it was a, it was a pretty big draw victory yeah pretty big draft victory uh the execution early on was definitely on rune eater's side they uh, tried to at least reel it back in that way I have to say, Cloud got caught so many times on bottom lane. Toronto Tokyo is on point with this Viber. No, they, they, like the the power of Team Spirit is that they understand how you will move before you even make a move. They they've already set up the answer to it, and Toronto Tokyo so many times in the right position to use that ulti to prevent you from even trying to split push and getting some farm, uh, as to be expected from Team Spirit really. Well, our second series of the day is going to go the way of Team Spirit. They are still flawless in the summer tour. We're going to send over a break, and when we come back, we'll have the panel and an interview with one of the lads on Spirit. There was no doubt about it. Team Spirit looked great in Game 2, so they do end up picking up this series 2-0 uh, as Best as you guys can. I'm going to ask you some okay. questions about this, but ultimately, Team Spirit really did have a great performance. Would you put it down to an outdraft, or was there potential ways for Rune Eaters to come into this game? No. <laughs> no, it wasn't no an outdraft. Or no, <laughs> <laughs> I, you I, 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 gave you I two questions already answered just said the no. draft one. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Before we came in, you said it was a pretty big outdraft. No. So you stand by that, and there was no way for Rune Eaters. I mean, things went better than I expected them to go. Okay. So like. Bounce. Mainly the bottom lane. I thought this Enigma was going to have a great game, but it is the Pudge Factor. He ended up hooking the Sven once in the laning stage. Got a kill on him. What I was really surprised about was later, the Pudge rotated out, mm -hmm. and this Enigma was two versus one, and he solo killed Sven and got another kill on the Sven, putting him at the top of the net worth advantage. So if they wouldn't have had that performance, I feel like this game would have been over instead of in 22 minutes, probably 15 minutes. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> That's a quite divisive victory then from your side of it. Did you like the Sven and the impact, or who do you feel had the biggest impact on the side of Team Spirit? Of Col course it was Collapse. Collapse and Mira. <laughs> yeah? Maybe... Toronto Tokyo had a, some really good curses this game too. Mm -hmm. yeah, look at him go. Bam, bam, I mean, this bam. is like a 22 minute game, right? So everyone played pretty well <laughs> to achieve that. I guess yeah. we could talk about uh, the mid winter wyvern, something we have seen before in Southeast Asia. Hasn't always been as successful as what the display that we saw today. Um, but did you like how he sort of worked around the wyvern and, and how it played out for Toronto Tokyo? Yeah. I mean, yeah. the, sorry, I'm like, the, the awesome. Winter Wyvern, the only other comparison we have is like Moon from yeah. Southeast Asia. I didn't Asia. want to name names. I'll name names. <laughs> I mean, he, 
Moon played a pretty good Wyvern in his last game, but like this one, it looks good too. I think it's just hard for me to give him so much credit because I felt like Collapse was doing so well in the game, like making the space on the map. Because we talked about how the Dawn works as an offlaner and how mm -hmm. it's not like maybe as good as like some other roles. But I think this game, Collapse, and this is his kind of style in general. He plays very carry-ish and like he can take a lot of uh, space on the map. Like his Sven is just going to sit in the, the triangle and farm. Meanwhile, Collapse is like all the way in the top lane taking everything. Mm -hmm. And then someone sets up a kill. Like that was something the, the Wyvern curse was really great for was like you could then just ult on top with the Dawnbreaker. Had a lot of good synergy there as a team. I think they just play really well as a team. There was a lot of like coordination happening here to get like this dominant stomp mm -hmm. i mean i agree with the the dawn breaker sentiment there like if you want to make it work you have to play more of like i mean claps has been that type of player on mars another type of player, more of like that carry style offlaner where you're just gonna play more like a core and you just need the items like i said it's just when you feel like you're behind in items and offlane that's where it's like a little awkward mm -hmm. not knowing what to do yeah, because he went the carry build. Like, he went the Deso first. You've got, yeah. you got to do what you got to do. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, I know that this game might be a little bit of a hard telltale, but are you impressed with Spirit's overall improvement for that early game? It was something that you just weren't really fond of from their last series against Na'Vi. Mm, I mean, really hard to say. I mean, there's it went better, mm -hmm. but... I'm still just more impressed with their mid late game. Yeah, cool. I don't have to ask any more filler questions because we do finally have an interview. <laughs> it is going to be with Mira. He's going to be joining us. Mira, congratulations hey. on the win. How are you guys feeling on Team Spirit after that? Mm, how do I feel? Um, it was pretty easy series. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, uh, um, pretty easy games for us. I think first game was tough because we made uh, mistakes uh, till minute 20. Mm -hmm. And we like delayed our BKB timings on Bristleback, but it was like we uh, were super confident that we're gonna win a uh, uh, never game. So. Oh wow, that is mm. very confident. <laughs> um, but speaking of game one, were you shocked by what Rune Eaters picked in their draft, or were these things you expected and were ready for? I don't remember uh, <laughs> what they picked in first game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess more like that elk. Were you guys expecting to see an elk uh, coming the out? The elk meat. Yeah. Yes, we uh, s um, we thought that they might swap it uh, mint to meat and put necro uh, like against axe, mm -hmm. but uh, but Maga said that uh, mid super uh, easy matchup for axe and we're gonna slay them this tiny axe. So <laughs> <laughs> that is how it played out. All right. My question yeah. for you is so against not uh, this team not so much, but against Navi, you're Early game has been a little rocky, but you guys have been played really good in the late game. Do you guys notice as well that, you know, you need to work on your early game a little bit, I guess, and do you have plans to do so? I think that uh, to play a super good uh, in the early stage, you need to practice a lot, and we're a bit, um, a bit lazy now, so mm -hmm. we need to just uh, make more practice in pubs. It's like shows uh, how try hard to in pubs uh, and uh, I mean show um, how you lay in, in competitive. So yeah, I, think I mean it's cost of that. But uh, it's um, I think uh, uh, that um, it's not that bad. But we uh, surely need to fix this. Yeah, so you guys are playing super well in the mid late game. Coming back from games, so you're really far behind, which is impressive. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um. Talking about your comebacks in the mid to late game, how is that? Is that something that you guys find kind of like natural, like your map movements, or is it something that in your communication as a team, do you really like talk and plan out your moves? It's like uh, usually I don't uh, even know that we were losing the game because I see that like uh, monthly uh, after the game and before that, it's just a casual game for me. I don't know. I don't and when I see like uh, um, 10k lead uh, by our enemies, I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> like, what the fuck? They were mean or what? Um, also, uh, you guys picked the Sven into a Razor. We were wondering mm -hmm. like what mm -hmm. the idea was there, what you wanted with it. Jator uh, said that uh, means a um, pretty good pick, Sven, because it's good um, on lane. Uh, Mif uh, is Razor position 3. And it's good uh, like later um, on the game because you have too much damage. Just Razor can't use Link and uh, like take uh, all of your damage. If you have uh, 1000 and, he, and uh, he takes 200, it's fine for Sven, I think. 
and he has like uh, 40 armor and second um, is a good matchup well, we're speaking about uh, heroes, no. in this patch, is there a, a certain hero that you think is kind of OP, or if there's a hero that a lot of teams are sleeping on? Uh, sorry? Can I pursue, um, is there a hero bit? that um, you think is underrated, that more people should be playing? Actually, um, we are the one that uh, like look um, on other teams and, oh, um, th um, um, this hero is good, and we just uh, like try to to take this hero uh, into our pool. We don't, I think, bring something new. Okay. B but I think but I think Zeus is like first pick hero um, um, in every game. It's, uh, in my opinion, it's a super broken hero. <laughs> position four, position two, I don't know. <laughs> it's just it's just too strong. <laughs> just too strong. Um, and the last question before we let you go is, you say you're going to win every game. Is there any opponent left in uh, Eastern Europe DPC that you think could beat you guys? Could beat us. Yeah. I think uh, that Bad Boom and uh, the Outsiders are um, um, go um, good teams, like overall, but mm -hmm. uh, a bit thicker than us. So I think uh, um, it will be like interesting series, but uh, we're gonna win them. Like, like anyway. <laughs> well, awesome, Mira. Thank you so much. No matter for what happens on map. <laughs> 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 no matter what happens. Oh, we love to see it. We look forward to seeing Team Spirit play some more. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Bye. See ya. <laughs> I love his interviews so much. Yeah, I get so he's excited. so much information. He's the just guy like, is I'll so tell great. you anything. Yeah. Didn't we ask him like what counter is your hero before? And he was like, just told us. Was that him? I just most I don't know. likely. He Mira just, does fantastic he's interviews. He's so great. Yeah, I love having him on the he's on the really show every time too. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Wonderful hopefully, player. hopefully watches it back. Big praises for him and his interviews. Um, but we're gonna jump to Division One standings. You guys can see where it all is after this series and. Mira's confidence doesn't go with that result. They are three and zero right now, uh, picking up every series actually completely undefeated, having not dropped a single game yet. Then it's uh, Navi right below them. Outside is one move. Bet boom. Rune Eaters now there, only having one win and three losses. Mind Games with the exact same score, and then Pari Pani with four losses all up. Seems very uh, reminiscent of SEA, where those bottom three are looking very close together, and it could be this tiebreaker for uh, relegation. Yeah, maybe. I think the top is definitely solid for me. Like mm -hmm. Spirit and then Navi have just looked the best by far in this region. Yep. And obviously Spirit beat Navi, so that's kind of like, yeah, the tiers are established for me. But the rest, I don't know. No, I don't it's all know. up in the air. It's all up in the air. Mm -hmm. Is that the same for you, Fear? You feel like the top is very solid set out already? I already know exactly where everyone's going to go. Oh, then already, please, I already, I already please tell it. us. It's oh. not in front of me, it's hard, but it's <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely wrong, Spirit, like? Navi, Outsiders, and then Bet Boom, One Move, mm -hmm. and everyone else below. <laughs> that was great. That was great. He knows exactly where it's going to go. Um, but I also do know that there is going to be some more Division One Eastern Europe. We're going to have one move up against Bet Boom. Later today, I do believe we're going to head to a break. Uh, we might do some filler content when we come back, but there is going to be some more Dota, so don't fret. Let's go. Cool. <laughs>